Imagine if I told you that everything you think you know about low-carb diets is only half the story. Most people think it's all about cutting out carbs to drop a few pounds. But what if I told you that a low-carb diet can change far more than just the number on the scale? The low-carb diet can improve your energy, mental clarity, and relationship with food. This lifestyle has been a thrilling ride for me for years, and today I'll tell you something no one else knows. After seeing this video, you'll know how to make a low-carb diet work for you and discover its great advantages, which you don't hear about enough. Stay for more than just a diet tale. This is low-carb reality. When I initially investigated low-carb, I was hesitant. Like many of you, I had tried various diets that promised immediate results, but left me exhausted and unhappy. The low-carb diet seemed exotic and too wonderful to be true. I was fed up with hunger and restricted diets. So, with hope and doubts, I tried it. I was unsure at first. Would I miss my favorite foods? Would desires be painful? Would I struggle to stick to this diet like so many others? I decided to give it a week to see how my body adjusted. My first week was a revelation. Cutting carbohydrates wasn't as hard as I imagined, and I felt fuller and more content after each meal. I could tell this was going to be different from my previous low-calorie diets since it felt different. What I didn't realize was that the low-carb lifestyle would affect more than my diet. I was about to feel physically and mentally different. The true change begins there. Let's define a low-carb diet before discussing my experience. It goes beyond eliminating bread, pasta, and sweets. Focus on protein and healthy fats while reducing carbs. This includes eating eggs, lean meats, fish, nuts, and lots of veggies. It's not as limiting as it sounds, but no one tells you. Low-carb is about picking the correct carbohydrates, not eliminating them. Spinach, broccoli, and cauliflower are still important in your diet. Avocados, olive oil, and almonds provide healthful fats to keep you satisfied and energized. On this voyage, chicken, fish, and eggs are your greatest companions for protein. I was surprised how easy low-carb meal prep was. Sticking to the low-carb diet became simpler after I started planning my meals, especially mornings, which I used to ignore. In my low-carb breakfasts, I had scrambled eggs with spinach or avocado smoothies. Lunch and supper included high-protein, low-carb dishes like grilled chicken with roasted veggies or a robust salad with healthy fats. Balance is key to a low-carb diet, reducing carbohydrates while eating nutrient-dense, delicious meals. Then, something wonderful happens. Your body feels fed and satisfied like on no other diet. Learning how to nourish your body is more than simply a quick fix for weight loss. Now things become interesting. Most people think of a low-carb diet as a quick way to lose weight, but there's more to it. They don't tell you how much it impacts your body, energy, mentality, and connection with food. Mental clarity comes first. My energy and concentration altered after a few weeks on a low-carb diet. Post-carb meals, my lunchtime crashes, I was more focused and productive all day. Research shows that a low-carb diet normalizes blood sugar, improving brain function. Second, no one prepares you for social obstacles. It's true that most social activities involve food, generally high-carb. Low-carb options may appear giving up at pizza night or family gatherings. But I learned you don't have to be extreme. You may order a burger without a bun or a salad while everyone else orders pasta. Initially difficult, it gets simpler after you recognize all the low-carb alternatives. Third, very important, health advantages beyond weight reduction. Losing weight motivates many individuals, and I witnessed benefits. I was shocked by how much the diet improved my health. With lower cholesterol, I felt lighter emotionally and physically. Research suggests that low-carb diets reduce lipids and raise HDL, the good cholesterol, for heart health. These advantages are neglected in low-carb diet discussions. We conclude with long-term effects. After one year, what? One or two? Most diets are hard to maintain, but I found the low-carb lifestyle easy. After adjusting, it becomes how you eat rather than a diet. I've maintained my weight loss and general health after two years. 
I now understand my body and can control my urges without feeling deprived. Despite expectations, a low-carb diet has several benefits. Weight isn't everything. You should feel better, more energized, and more in control. A normal day on a low-carb diet? Fortunately, meal planning is easier than you think and becomes second nature once you get the hang of it. Let me show you my daily diet, which keeps me on track and energized. Breakfast. Transforms low-carb diets. Skipping breakfast, assuming it would save calories, left me ravenous by mid-morning. Quick, hearty, and tasty low-carb breakfasts are now my morning routine. Scrambled eggs with spinach and avocado are my go-to. Food with good fats and protein keeps me satiated till noon. A simple avocado smoothie with almond milk, chia seeds, and spinach works for me. High-protein, low-carb lunches are my priority. Grilled chicken or salmon with a huge salad of lush greens, cucumbers, olives, and olive oil is my favorite. Adding fiber and healthy fats to the salad keeps you full without carbohydrates. I sometimes add feta cheese or a hard-boiled egg for protein. I enjoy low-carb steak or grilled shrimp with roasted broccoli or zucchini for supper. Seasoning is key, I've discovered. Even carb-free meals may be decadent with spices and herbs. If I want comfort food, I make low-carb cauliflower mash. It's so good you won't miss the potatoes. To maintain energy, I eat low-carb snacks throughout the day. I like almonds, cheese sticks, and mixed nuts. They're portable and keep hunger at bay between meals. Meal prep saved me on this journey. I plan and cook my low-carb meals for the week on Sundays to avoid eating unhealthy snacks when I'm short on time. This is essential to maintaining a low-carb diet, especially when life becomes hectic. By sticking to these meals, I've realized that it's not only about weight loss, they feed me better than carbohydrates. I now view food and eating differently thanks to the low-carb diet. If you want to start slowly, eat basic, healthy foods and experiment with low-carb dishes. So, there you have it, what they don't tell you about low-carb diets. It goes beyond eliminating carbohydrates and losing weight rapidly. Change your energy, outlook, and health. My experience has taught me that a low-carb lifestyle is about much more than weight. Feeling well, remaining consistent, and knowing what your body needs are key. If you've been on the fence about a low-carb diet or struggled with it, this video should help you understand what to anticipate and how to succeed. Start basic, stick with it, and prioritize progress over perfection. I want your response. Have you tried low carb? What's been your hardest challenge? Any tips? Leave your comments below to start the conversation. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more healthy living, low carb recipes, and all you need to live your best life. Thanks for watching, and remember, this journey is about finding what works best for you. See you in the next video.